Hello, I'm Ron Clark. I'm sorry for the long uh, absence. Um, I've been busy making uh, radiators and protectors so, and uh, having company. Um, but company is gone, so I'm taking the opportunity in between making the latest radiator um, to do a short video. This one is in response to Camille, who asked that I say something about the finger ritual. Now, it's been a few weeks since he asked that, so I hope it's not too late. Um, I'm sure it's not, actually, because the finger rituals take time. Um, so, this is step four of physical exercises, and Barden talks about just not just finger rituals, but ritual in general. And uh, so his take on ritual is probably not the standard explanation of ritual. Um, for Bardon, what he was speaking of in uh, relation to ritual is any repeated practice. And its repetition is the a uh, foundation upon which this is built. You repeat a practice long enough, um, binding the uh, physical movement of some sort um, with the intention. These two have to be bound together, and eventually, uh, it becomes so the binding becomes so strong that the ritual done by itself will uh, affect the intention, okay? That's the basic idea. You repeat the physical movement and your intention. So, uh, creating a ritual, all it does is save you time, ultimately. Uh, that's the point. You, know, you do the physical ritual, and in that instance, your instant your will is achieved. Um, but it's still your will. You have to be able yourself to do the rich, the, to enact the, your will um, by standard means, um, regardless of the ritual. So you're not going to be able to do anything that you cannot already do. It just saves you some time. So you don't go, have to go through the step-by-step -step mechanics. You don't have to accumulate the vital energy and, you know, center it in a specific spot or project it from your body. You just instantly have the vital energy. But you still have to be able to do that process of accumulating the vital energy. Okay? So it's... The only advantage of the ritual is speed. But it takes a lot of repetition in order to get to the point where the physical ritual itself affects your will. Okay, you start by projecting your will and binding that projection of your will to <clears throat> the physical ritual. The finger ritual, for example. Now, Barden assigns the five elements to the fingers. Water, fire, akasha, earth, air. Okay? But, there is no factual correlation between the fingers and the elements. So you can assign whatever element you want to whatever finger you want. Barden's assignations, fairly standard attributions, um, are sort of logical. Um, but, like I said, any finger can be anything you want it to be if you're going to do finger rituals. Um, you can also do some other kind of ritual, you know, like a blessing or whatever. Um, it's totally up to your imagination, and this does require creative imagination. So, 
when I was doing these exercises, I came up with uh, three basic finger rituals, because they're very convenient. Um, and I, you know, I sort of recommend these three. Now, Barden makes the point that you don't want a whole bunch of rituals. There's number one in taking years to establish a whole bunch of rituals. You know, a few rituals for basic needs, things that you will be doing a lot in your life as a magician, um, which is why I came up with these three. Uh, number one is uh, an immediate explosive accumulation of the vital energy. Number two, an immediate explosive, well, not explosive, but just an immediate very powerful accumulation of the vital energy and of the fire element and of the water element. Just those three were all I was going to need in the work that I was doing at that point in my magical career. Um, so, um, <clears throat> what worked best for me is this action. You know, this kind of flicking action, flicking and pointing, flicking and pointing, and then there would be this immediate accumulation. Now, I sort of, you know, the forefinger was the vital energy for me. The middle finger was the uh, fire element. And this third finger, the ring finger, was the water element, okay? So I had three flicks. Um, and the, it was very simple, you know? Um, <clears throat> I was able at that point to m make a large accumulation of these, well, specifically the, the vital energy when I started this. It took a while to get that ritual down. By then, I was capable of working with the elements and creating a large accumulation in front of me a few feet, okay? So, I create this massive accumulation of the vital energy in front of me, and at the same time, with great intention, I flick my finger. Um, and it's binding these two together with great intention. You must intentionally bind the action with the action. Uh, you must accumulate at the same time and bind the two together <clears throat> so that every time you accumulate the vital energy, you're flicking your finger. Okay? <clears throat> And eventually, doing that often enough, it becomes sufficient just to flick your finger. And uh, the mental effort of accumulating and projecting, or just accumulating from the universe, the vital energy um, occurs at the same time. Um, but instead of the intention being here in this process with the vital energy, the intention goes into the finger and that, uh, you know, accomplishes the accumulation of the vital energy as you're flicking your finger. Okay? It just becomes automatic. And that's the, the, the point of the ritual. When it becomes automatic, you have succeeded in creating your ritual, essentially. So then all you do is flip the finger and there's the accumulation in front of you to be used in whatever way you want to use it. <clears throat> and, I mean, you can do this with anything you want. Any ideation, you know, any will, any intention you want can be bound to a physical movement. And that is ritual. Well, I think I've blathered on long enough. 
Like I said, it's very simple, very straightforward. Just repetition, 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 repetition. And the more uh, uh, obsessive compulsive you are, <laughs> the easier it will be. Okay? All right, that's it for me. It might be another month till the next video. We'll see. I'm awfully busy. So, bye-bye.